Let's now talk about how we declare an array, how we initialize array with some initial numbers and the different ways of initializing an array. How do we read some numbers from the keyboard into an array? How do we print numbers from the array? I have already talked about declaration. So here what I am doing here is I have declared an integer variable a of 10. What this indicates is this a is an array of 10 elements. The first thing indicates it's an integer. Next thing a is the name and 10 indicates the size of the array. Now if I want to initialize it, suppose I declare an array a of 10 and I give it values like 10, 20, 30 only. Now I have not given values to the remaining position. So what it does is the 0th position will be 10, the 1st position will be 20, 2nd position will be 30 and all the others will end up becoming zeros. Now suppose I want to keep the size of the array controlled through a hash define. Instead of giving a constant value, I want to use a hash define. So I can do like this. I can say hash define max of 10. So if I make max 20 and next time I, I just have to recompile it and then the new value of the array size is going to take place. So here what you have is based on the value of max, the size of the array is determined. Now suppose I have to read numbers, let's say I have to read 10 numbers into an array. So I generally use for reading or displaying numbers from an array using a for loop. You cannot read all the numbers into an array using one single scanf or print all the elements from the array using one single printf. So what I'm doing is I'm using a subscript i is equal to zero. As long as i is less than max, I am printing percentage d a of i. So here it will print the zeroth element. When i becomes one, it will print the first element. When i becomes two, it will print the second element. This process will go on till all the numbers or all the elements starting from the zeroth location till the ninth location are printed. We are not going to print anything in the tenth location because we are starting from zero. Suppose I have to read. For printing, normally you will print the contents of an array as you would print a normal variable. While doing a scanf, be sure you use the address of a of i because each of the element of an array has got a unique address. So while doing a reading, you have to do scanf percentage d address of a of i. Similarly here, from the zeroth location till the ninth location, I am going to read 10 numbers from the keyboard entered by the user. Let's take a look at a few more initialization of array elements. So this is one more example of an initializing an array. So in the first case, here if you see I have not declared the size of an array. So if I do something like this int a without specifying the size, if I do 10, 20, 30, automatically the compiler will create the size of the array as three places. So this will only have three places. Now what I have done is I have declared int a of 5. I have initialized the first four with zeros and the last element with 6. I have done the same declaration here. But what I am doing is I am only initializing the last place with 6. The rest of them will automatically be initialized with zeros. So if you want to take a look at how this declaration what it will create. Suppose this is my array. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. These are 5 places. This is the 0, this is the 1st, this is the 2nd, this is the 3rd, this is the 4th. So what I have done is to the 4th location I have put 6. The rest of them automatically will get initialized 0 by the compiler. Here what I have done is I have declared int a. Size is not specified. But I have done some initialization. The 0th element is 0. The 1st element is 1. Then the 4th element. To initialize the 4th element, this particular person, I have initialized with 5. Then the 10th position I have initialized with again it with 5. Since I am starting from 0 and 10th is the last position total I will have element 11 places in the array. Sorry I will have 11 places in this particular array. That means the size of this array is going to be 11 integers or it can hold 11 integers. Now let's try to do a few other things with an array.
all right so the first thing what i will do is i will show you how you can go about reading 10 numbers into an array and how you can print 10 numbers from that same array so what i have done is i have defined size as a macro whose value is 10 so when the preprocessor runs this size is going to be replaced with 10 so i have declared an array int a of size 10 subscript i is 0 i am asking the user enter 10 values for i is equal to 0 i less than size i plus plus so what is going to happen here is i will just show you how the reading of a few numbers happens for clarity so let's say the size is 10 okay this is 0th one this is first this is second so when i say 10 elements i is 0 so a of i is referring to this position let's say i enter the number 3 then i ends up becoming 1 a of 1 happens to be this fellow so when i read the next number this number can say be 66 i now becomes 2 a of 2 can be some other number say 36 this process will continue till the a of 9 since i am starting from 0 the last position is going to be a of 9 so this is the process of reading numbers into an array one after the other so this fellow is known as the subscript or the index be sure you understand that i am using the address operator because each of the individual elements has a unique address now if i have to print 10 values i am again going to start with i as 0 i is less than 10 i am printing a of i when i print a of 0 3 is going to be printed on the screen i becomes 1 when i print a of 1 66 is going to be printed when i increase i by 1 i becomes 2 a of 2 it's going to print 36 this process is going to continue till all the 10th location or all the 10 locations are values are printed starting from 0 to 9 now i hope this clarifies how we read numbers into an array from the keyboard and how do we print numbers from the array on the screen suppose you had written code like this okay suppose you had written code like this int a of 10 and you use the size of operator to find the size of a assuming integers occupy 4 bytes the size of this particular array or the size of would have printed 40 bytes because in my case i am assuming int to be 4 bytes now a note about the array indices indices are all the subscripts i is a subscript which is used to travel through the array so in this case 0 1 2 are subscripts which help us get into the array arrays if you declare an array like this this has a fixed size okay one of the challenges for beginners with c is it doesn't tell you if you are wrong because it assumes you know what you are doing because of that problem what happens is although i had declared a of 10 if i had tried to refer a of 11 the compiler will not flag you with any error during runtime the program may crash or behave unexpectedly so it is your job to see that this subscript or index is within this range if you have declared 10 elements don't go beyond a of 9 or you cannot go on the negative side it has no meaning so we must check whether the index is valid ourselves. we cannot expect the compiler to do the checking for us so in c that is something you have to be careful of in arrays the indices Checking that they are within the valid range is the job of the programmer. C compiler will not do that particular job for you.